Hi guys, I got some great news from Neo's Corner today. Neo says that the ET7 has the second best drag coefficient in the world with a drag coefficient of 2.08, which is pretty good. I must say amazing because uh, the Mercedes-Benz EQS has a drag coefficient of exactly two on the dot. And the Tesla model S Plaid Edition has also a drag coefficient of 2.08, although they mention on their website that they have the best, which isn't true actually. Not only that, some other great news is that the ES8s finally arrived in Norway, but they won't be able to sell the cars until the 1st of October. And the NEO houses will be opened by the 30th of September, so potential clients, potential NEO users will have a month time to buy the car, look at the car, uh, have the full NEO house experience until they decide to buy a NEO ES8. And last but not least, some great information is the data we have concerning the NEO app, the Xiaopeng app, the Li Auto app, and the Tesla app. Looking at the data, we see that NEO's app had 367,000 monthly active users as of July 2021 which is 54.2% up from the sa same period last year. Not only that, Tesla's app had around 304,000 monthly active users. So as we can see, NIO already has the edge on Tesla. What does this show us? What does this show us, NIO investors? It shows us that NIO truly is trying to create an experience with the customer, with the NIO user. So you are actually attached to NIO's ecosystem, kind of the way that Apple does it with their um, with their holy followers. So, which is so this is really great news, guys. We sh it, it shows that NIO already has the ability to have its a database of loyal customers just like Apple has. And looking at Liaro and Xiaopeng together they have around 364,000 active uh, members of their app but this isn't even almost just as much as Neo. Just shows us that how much Neo's user base truly is connected to Neo, how much they really feel the true brand experience. Just look at it. Liaro sold more cars uh, last time Xiaopeng sells almost as much cars as NIO or sometimes even more. What does this show us? This shows us that the activity for NIO users is way more than the Xiaopeng and Liaro guys or even Tesla. So this truly, truly, truly shows us investors that NIO has a, as a fan base. It's becoming a cult. It's becoming a cult like Apple. It's becoming a cult like Tesla. So all of this guys together is just great news in my humble opinion. We're going to have some great days. The stock price doesn't follow up with what we're seeing right now. If you liked NEO last year around $55 or $60, you got to love NEO at $35 because one of the days NEO will go up and when it goes up it won't go down anymore. Just believe me. Don't forget Bank of America increased their share also in NEO with a almost 85%. So just look at that. I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.